So we will proceed right now in understanding the standard library methods, uh, which is actually one of the types of method in Java. So if we will talk about the standard library methods, uh, we have actually a example. Number one, print is actually a method. Print LN, a print is uh, actually a method of a java.io.print string. Okay? So the print something like here, method, it prints the string inside the quotation marks. So that is actually his, or that is actually the purpose of the print method. And if we will proceed to the next bullet, the square root here, or the SQRT, it's actually a method of a math class, okay? It basically returns the square root of a number. So how can we do it? So let's me, uh, let me show you an example. And let me proceed in, sorry. Mm -hmm. One moment. Let me open my IntelliJ. Okay. Okay, we would still use the package Java method two. Okay, here we go. Let me create a new class. The name of the class, it's method um, example four. We have the method example four. So in the method example four, we will now be maximizing it. We will let the user import uh, input something. So Java that you do. So inside our public static void main method. String args there. I will be using an input object for a scanner. One moment. System dot in. After that one, this is the time where I will use or I will let the user input something. But before inputting something, I forgot that I need to. Um, value system that out dot print um, square uh, enter a value or square root sorry wrong spelling wrong okay next value here we have the input dot next in after that one, this is the time where I will now use the um, I will now use the built-in method of Java or in the math class, which is the square root or the SQRT method. So print ln square sorry square root oh wrong spelling square root of I will call the value one moment is this is the time where I will use the math class math dot sqrt I will put here inside the value okay so one moment okay there you go so basically this is uh, I used a built-in Java method which is the SQRT in which um, this is actually came from the Java class okay all I did I only put the um, the variable where the user inputted a value so the value variable it's inserted here inside the square root method then it will show its result so let me try to run it one moment. 
moment. Okay, enter a value for square root. So for example, it's three. So three times three. Oh, square root of three. Ah, sorry. It's not three times three. Yeah, go ahead. The square root. There you go. Okay. So we will, before we will proceed to that one, one moment, uh, let me double check this information. Yeah, actually it's, the result is actually 3, but the square root of that is 1.7320. Earlier, uh, we squared it lang. Okay. One moment, this is correct. Yes, we got the correct answer. So I think we can proceed right now to our next example. Okay. So let me talk about the advantages of using a method in Java, or not actually only in Java, but um, in any programming language. First, it's actually because of the code reusability. Um, we can create a method once and use it multiple times, okay? So we can do, uh, uh, we do not have to recreate the entire code because we can actually reuse it. So let me show you an example, um, a good example in, um, that talks about um, code reusability as one of the advantages of using a method. Okay, let's proceed. So I will create now another class. So basically, um, the purpose of this class, it's actually still the same, just like what, uh, with what we did earlier to get the square. So method example five. Okay, so one moment. Let me close this one. Okay, import Java that util. There you go. There. Then public static void main string argument. I will be creating my first, uh, actually, I will be creating my only one method. It's public static int get the square. Getting the square. So int x, sorry, there you go. Okay. So I have a parameter int x here. Then inside that one, it's still the same, just like what we did earlier. I will just multiply the x by itself. After multiplying it, since I'm done, I will go ahead and use the scanner. Um, input new scanner system dot in. Then aside from that, I'll be using the method example five. To create a method, uh, sorry, an object five. There. After that one, I'll go ahead and create my variables. No variable num. That will get um, a variable. Uh, that will get a value from the user. I will also create the result. A variable result. So make it zero. Okay. So system that out dot print enter a value. So after entering a value, it will be temporarily stored to num input dot next in. Sorry, it's case sensitive. So here, um, I'll be creating a for loop. So for in for example, i is equivalent to 1, then the i is less than or equal to the num inputted by the user, then i plus plus. After this one, um, I will call the result, and I'm sorry, I will 
call the get square and it will be temporary uh, it will be stored to the result so object 5 dot get square then the i it will be inserted here there you go then system dot out dot print ln square of uh, one moment plus i is I'll call the result semicolon okay let me try to run the program okay if ever that the user will input 3 so from 1 to 3 it gets the square of the number so from one, two, three, so one, um, square of one, it's one, square of two, it's four, the square of three, it's nine. So again, let me rerun it. What if I will put on 10? So basically, by the, use, uh, by the use of the for loop, I was able to reuse the code here in the get square, where the object five, um, throws the or pass through the um, the i from the for loop to the get square so like this one okay so I think we're all set right now that is a good example of a code reusability so let's proceed to the last advantage Last one, it's because it's readable and easier. So methods make code more readable and easier to debug. Um, because uh, just like what you have noticed uh, with me earlier, if ever that I was, uh, if ever that I will get an error, um, all I need to do is not go to the main or the uh, uh, to the main method, but go directly to the um, the method square because normally the errors will be stored there okay so it's basically it's easy to read and aside from that it's really easy to debug it okay